to my crazy life. It's Lori, and we're starting the vlog today. It's Wednesday, Wednesday, the 30th of December. My car is filthy. Uh, we had a snowstorm the other day on Christmas Eve, and it's covered in salt and nasty, and the inside is gross, so it's gonna be in the 40s today, maybe 50 today, tomorrow. So I thought I better get my car washed. Sorry, it's loud. I get the creme de la creme. I don't really know what that means. I mean, I do know what it means. It gets the salt and stuff off, but it also means I get a dashboard wipe, an air freshener, which I don't need right this second, and a chamois type cloth to get some of the nooks and crannies. Wiping out the dust. Am I the only person in America that has 5,000 masks, tissues, white packages, sanitizers, all the things? My favorite were these. These are um, antibacterial wipes I picked up at Marshall's three pack. I shared them with my niece and my cousin and my tissues because allergies. I also have two chappy sticks in my car because, you know, a disposable mask, two Christmas masks. Guys, I'm a mess. And we're not going to discuss the amount of spilled coffee that I have or droplets of spilled coffee. I guess it's more like splashed coffee. But while I'm sitting here, I want to at least do some wiping down. I don't typically have passengers in my car, but when I do, they're messy. And somehow, I don't know how, I don't know this answer, but my back seat is full of dog fur. I don't know, I don't have a dog. I mean, Luna, but Luna doesn't ride in my car very, and Luna's not even my dog, but she doesn't typically ride in my car, so I'm not really sure. The other thing I have is this. I got this at Marshall's at Christmas time. I don't know if I showed you. It is a um, oil diffuser and it comes in these little felt pads and you plug it in. I have to plug it into one of these. My car has a USB, but I use that for my phone because that's how I do my GPS and stuff. But this little dealie here you add a couple drops of your favorite essential oil. Right now I'm diffusing peppermint vanilla. I love peppermint, it's not just a Christmas scent to me. I got some on my hand. You close it, when you plug it in it turns blue and it like, it's very lightly diffuses um, in your car. Like the sense of the oil, it's not strong at all. Like I find I have, sorry, my mirror is dusty. I find that I need to, sometimes I add a little extra. Um, with my allergies, I don't smell good. I mean, I don't smell bad, I don't smell good. And just, I had some questions. Yes, I take allergy medicine every day. Um, I just can't help it. It's, it's not, I don't have like, I'm allergic, well, the last time I was allergy tested, which was several years ago. I don't have allergies like I'm allergic to cats, I'm allergic to dogs, I'm allergic to nuts. I don't have those kind of allergies. My biggest allergen, which I need to change out this cord. Who needs a cord this long in their car for their phone? 
not me. I have a shorter one in the house I need to bring out here. <sighs> Squirrel. Um, allergies, yes. Okay, so my allergies are, they're called non-allergic reaction sinusitis. Fancy, right? Um, chemicals in food, preservatives. I don't know about MSG. I've never really tested it and I don't eat a lot of Chinese food anymore, so I don't know. But if it's gonna rain, if it's gonna snow, if there's a high pressure, a low pressure, any of that will tend to trigger headaches and get me kind of um, stuffy. So right now it's, it looks brighter than it is with my camera, but it's gray, sloppy day, it's gonna rain, and so I'm stuffy. I'll take some allergy stuff here shortly. Um, which I need to go to CVS and buy some more Sudafed. I have my list of errands that need to be run today. So I have 47 pens in my car. Please don't worry. Oh, the clouds are moving fast. So car wash. Clean and car wash. Woohoo! Done. Next up, I need coffee. And then we are driving to another town to go to a Dollar Tree. Um, I go there on occasion. It's in Lancaster, Ohio. It's about 30 minutes from me. But they have some good stuff sometimes. And they also have a Target there. We're going to go to look at clearance items. But I need to go to the bank. Oh, my other thing I need to do. That's, um, if I don't write it down, guys, it doesn't happen. To the point that I needed to um, put in my car my insurance and registration. Like, I had to put that on a list or it wouldn't get done. I know. I just get busy and I get to doing stuff and blah, blah. Um, and I thought I threw away. I sold some wine glasses on our site I thought I threw them away. I did not. I thought I threw my five dollars away. I did not. It was in my car. I had a um, set of red wine, red wine glasses, but they were also red, red wine glasses. Like a tall stemmed. I don't use them, so I'm like, pass them on to somebody who will. Five dollars. Perfect. All right, we're going to Starbucks. Okay, I just got, oh, out of the dollar, well, Target, Bullseye, there clearance just to look around and I found a few things that I think you will like number one I got this from my cousin it's a pill case for your like purse it's a big old pill she's a pharmacist so I know she'll love this um, I bought one for me too I keep like my Sudafed ibuprofen in these little things and I thought that is perfect so I got that for her um this was not on clearance. It was $3. I couldn't help myself. I am obsessed with little bags, but I like how roomy this one is. I know it sounds silly, but all the little flat pouches I have are more for like pens and pencils. This one has a side gusset. So it's a little thicker for all of my chargers, especially like for throwing them in my purse. If I'm going somewhere like my phone charger, my computer charger, all my electronic stuff, I can throw in here. Earbuds, and this will go right into any bag. So I like that it was thicker. I get help hold more. The other thing I got that I think is fantastic, and I grabbed two of. This is good for your phone or computer, although I would never stick it on my phone. Plus, I have three, four cameras on my phone. But these little doodahs stick on your computer and their lens privacy. So I'll stick it over the camera on my laptop and then you slide it so nobody can see you. Especially if you're doing a lot of zooming, nobody wants to accidentally end up on a meeting they don't want to be seen on. So put that on and I think it says good for smartphone, tablets, laptops, and computers. It's a camera blocker and you get two of them for a dollar. I grabbed one for me and one for Sarah. Um, in the clearance section, I grabbed this set of light string lights. They have the bells, but they're also pretty rustic. I don't know that I just have to put these out at Christmas, right? And they're battery operated. Um, Dew drop lights, they're called. 
So I'm excited for these, either for this year or next year. Um, they were 70% off, which is interesting because my store in Columbus is at 90, but whatever. Um, so I got them for $3, which I don't think is a bad deal. And you get 30 lights and it's nine foot length. So really it's a, it's a decent deal on that. So I'll use those this coming year or now, I guess. The other thing I got in the Christmas clearance was this Phillips hook and loop. It is, it's Velcro. So on one side, it's the um, soft, and on this side is the harder, and you, it's, you know, Velcro, but it's cut to fit, cut to your specifications. Again, for like electronics, right? If you're trying to like wrap up your phone cords and things, you can just cut it and wrap this around it and it keeps everything corralled. I've got so many cords and cables and stuff that need to be just corralled together. In my car here, this 20,000 foot phone charger, I might cut some of this and see if it'll work on that. So this was $2.09. Um, I just grabbed a chalk paint. These are chalk markers, white non-toxic, work on chalkboard, erasable with a wet cloth. So these are not markers. These are chalk, liquid chalk. So I love writing with chalk. And then the last thing I picked up was for either my kitchen or my coffee table, probably my dining room table. It's this navy blue color um, table runner. It was 50% off. So I got it for $11, but it's pretty big and it's extra long, which is what I like. My table's not extra long, but I, I don't like it when they don't hang over the edges. So this was regularly, I guess, $22, and it is 14 by 108 inches. So that's good. It's nice and long, and it's nice and wide. So I don't really have a, an everyday table runner. And my table, my dining room table is, let me put this stuff away. Um, it's a very old barn table that my sister-in-law gave me years ago. So it's not a traditional size kitchen table. It's, I don't even know what it would have been used for. I know the lady that had it, bought it. It was an antique. She used it as a sewing table, but it's not as wide or long as a traditional table. Um, or high for that matter, off the ground. I do need to put some stilts on it. I don't typically eat there. I just have it as a piece of furniture. But you don't care. All right, I'm going to the Dollar Tree now because that's the next stop on my list. Let's mark off Target, shall we? Is it even on here? It is. Guys, I don't know how to tell you the pure pleasure I get crossing things off of this list. So next is gonna be the Dollar Tree. I need to go home and cook a roast too. That needs to be cooked today. I'll do that when I get home, but I needed to go to Aldi first. All right, let's go to the Dollar Tree. I've been to two Dollar Trees, two. I went to Aldi. I am at the bank. This is a long line. So I don't know what it's like where you're at, but my bank, so I work for this bank actually, um, have closed all of their going in the store or in the branches. It's all drive-through, no in-person banking right now. So I have two checks. Well, actually I have a money order and a check that I need to cash. And who knew money orders were such a challenge? I did not. First of all, I can't tell you the last time I cashed anything. I go to the bank, I go to the ATM or I do online banking. And with my bank, I can even take a picture of my checks and it will deposit them automatically. This money order situation is not working like that. So I tried depositing it in the ATM and the ATM said no. So I'm at the bank to try to cash it. If not, I feel like I can go to the post office to cash it, but I'm, I'm not doing that till tomorrow. That's on tomorrow's to-do list. Today's to-do list after I leave here is to run to the pharmacy, pick up some prescriptions and then go home 
and throw a pot roast in and start undecorating my Christmas tree maybe after I have some lunch because I'm kind of hungry. It's noon. And I'm also dumb. I mean, I'm not dumb, but I feel like I'm dumb. I feel challenged. I have no idea how to cash checks. Like, I want the money back. So I'm sending in the checks, a deposit slip, and my ID. And I'm just going to tell them, I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing, but I just want the money back. So when I work in the office at the bank, I can deposit everything in my ATM in the building and take out $1 denomination if I want. You can go to my, my it's only at my in my work buildings, but I can go in and put my ATM in and take a dollar out. Obviously, it's not like that at all the other ATMs. I think they have a minimum of 20. It doesn't matter. I just want to, it won't take this money order. But I've, so I've started all this to say, um, I have decided this whole pandemic has kind of taught me a little bit of a lesson that I want to have just a little bit of cash on hand at home in a drawer stashed away in my desk drawer or something. Not that I've had any issues with the bank, but you know, when the banks closed down, I potentially could have had an issue. I don't know. So I just feel more comfortable just having some money at the house. I mean, not a lot, but just because I do not carry cash. It's a flaw. It's a problem I have. I don't carry cash. I don't have cash. So I've started um, just getting cash out every once in a while, throwing it in this envelope so I can have a fair amount at the house, do you know? Because we could have another pandemic, who the heck knows. So anyway, all this to say, the line at my bank is long. I actually was in the line earlier and was like, no, I'm not doing it. So I left and I went to Aldi, which is across the street. And I did my little shopping. I literally needed four things, but the mushrooms I wanted for my roast that I'm making. And then I needed some coconut milk to make hot chocolate because it's cold. And I got Parmesan cheese. I like that on pork rinds. I know, I'm weird. And I got coffee. Did not need coffee. But, you know, you get it when you see it. No, that's not even true either. I just thought it was a fun flavor. Um, at Aldi, I like flavor coffee. At Aldi, um, they get flavors in and out. Their staple is always, excuse me, vanilla and hazelnut. They always have vanilla and hazelnut, but seasonally they get other flavors. Like this year they had the peppermint mocha, which wasn't good. They had gingerbread, which was okay. And they had uh, white chocolate, which was again, okay. I didn't find myself wanting to run back and get more. Um, the Starbucks peppermint mocha was a hundred times better than the Aldi peppermint mocha and for like two dollars more it was worth it in my world but um at, they also had in like the fun finds aisle they had caramel salty caramel which is really good I got that and this time I saw toasted coconut so I have plenty of coffee in my freezer I just buy it when I see it and for $3.79 for a pound bag or however many 12 ounce bag or whatever it is, is a good price point for me. Yes, so I've almost completed the errands that I needed to complete. Although later today I'm on the hunt now for more gnome stuff from the Dollar Tree. So I need to check a different Dollar Tree. Although I asked at my one Dollar Tree if they got the gnome stuff in and she said that they did not, that it was supposed to come tomorrow or Friday. So my plan is to go in Saturday morning because they're also getting the wall hanging with the gnome and they should be getting the plushies with the gnome. So I wanna do a giveaway if I can find them. Just saying. And I don't know what takes so long to do a deposit, but I feel like these people are doing like business banking because it's a bank. You know what I mean? Like before, if I were to go to the AT or go through this line, I would be depositing, I guess, or with, I don't know. I don't know. 
I just feel like it takes a long time and I don't understand why. There's nobody in the store. I can tell you that. So they should have everybody work in these dang windows. Who knows? But I can tell you, if you want to see behind me, I don't know if you can see that car there. It goes all the way back and around. Let's get this done and then go to CVS. I need to pick up my prescription and then I might have a fire today. It is 48 degrees, so I probably might should not have a fire, but I love fires. We'll see. If I choose to take the ornaments off the tree, I will definitely put the fireplace on because I sit on the floor and it takes me a while to wrap my ornaments. So, because I do individually wrap most of my ornaments, um, and try not to break them. That's the goal. All right, I'm next. Ooh. Laying here on the floor, working in my planner for 2021, drinking some iced tea with the fire and the crazy cat. What are you doing over there, Alex? What are you doing? He doesn't care that it's New Year's Eve, and neither do I. I've got lists to make, plans to hopefully do next year. I'm choosing to be optimistic with a splash of realistic. Mm -mm. Ooh, and warm. Okay, guys, here's what I got so far on my mantle. But this is what I was talking about, or you'll see in my Dollar Tree haul. I buy Epsom salts, and it looks like snow. And then I just put some greenery. I'm loving the greenery that looks frozen. So it's just white and green. Yes, that is a Christmas wreath. And I may take the red berries off. But I like that. My Valentine gnomes. And this little frame. And these are really cute. Look at that kitty in there. I love this. And then I did get this at the Dollar Tree. I forgot to haul it. This is a little love sign. I'm backing up. Trying not to... Do anything, but that's going to be my winter mantle for now. I need to do something with the garland and cover up my command strips, but that's a work in progress. Happy Sunday morning, everybody. Look at my eyes. I have allergy issues really, really badly still. It's the weather. We are headed to Starbucks. I'm putting on my goop. Let me tell you, this brand, all good goop. This was in a box I got from Mighty Fix. It's a subscription that I belong to. Every month you get one item. It's $11 a month. Uh, shipped to your door. You don't know what it is. Um, but it's something that's sustainable. Which is what I like about it. Helps me make better choices. I'm warming up my car. Although it's not really that cold out. Um, I've been using this all winter and it really is helping my nails, my cuticles. I typically, I mean, I can rub it all in, but what I've been focusing on is where my hands crack, which is my fingers. Um, they do have this on Amazon and in the description box is a link to my storefront that I open. I get lots of questions on what, I, where I got certain items, um, which is cool. Sometimes I don't know if they're gifts, but if I can find something similar to what I purchased, I put it in that Amazon store. Um, it's, you know, I don't have everything in there now. As I think of things, I'm putting them in there, but it's just a representative of representation of what I am using or whatever. This goop um, on Amazon is $10. It's all natural. It's like olive oil, beeswax, shea butter, and then essential oils. You can use it anywhere. I've been using it, if you've noticed, I have this uh, discoloration. It's sun damage. I have a scar there where um, the dermatologist tried to burn it, which he did. I had a big spot, but it's just popping up. So I need to go back to the dermatologist. Um, but what I enjoy about this goop is that it isn't greasy. It absorbs real fast. So I'm not like slimy right now, but it absorbs. It doesn't just sit on the surface of my skin. Not sponsored, just I like this product a lot. So the fun fact is how to tell if, it, if a product 
is sitting on your skin or if it's soaking into your skin. In the summertime, I have certain moisturizers and I put them on every morning. And as soon as I get warm and sweat, it runs. I can feel it. Same thing on your hands. So if you put a moisturizer on and like a half an hour later, you go and have to wash your hands and it, you feel the lotion rinse off, it's not absorbing. It's just sitting there. It's kind of my determination. I don't know if it's scientific, but that's how I you know, look at it. This does not do that. So it's, it's, you know, it's already in, it's absorbed. I'm driving, it's not getting on my steering wheel. So I like that. What I don't like about it is it comes in a tube and if you have fingernails, it's a little tricky getting it out, but I'll put up with tricky, what's happening over here? Oh, my Aldi store has not been open for a couple days. I wonder what's going on. Oh, other question I always get, lip color. This is Powder Puff by NYX, and the color is Moody, and I love these little powder puffs. Um, it's very matte, which is what I like, and it stays on pretty good, but it feels like um, a stain, and it doesn't feel like I have lipstick on. It's not, you know, again, it feels like it's dry on my mouth. So right now I'm going to Starbucks. I already say that. I'm headed to Starbucks. There's literally nobody on the road. And then Sarah, oh, and then I'm probably gonna hit the Dollar Tree real quick. Sarah is coming, my niece. She and I, and then we're meeting my cousin Debbie and her daughter Addie. They've been on the video before. So my niece, my cousin, and my second little cousin are going to Ikea. Hopefully it won't be busy because we just need a few items to uh, for some storage a few items for storage and um, household things I need two more goose down pillow form pillow inserts for my couch I have two goose and two not goose does that make sense two cotton fluff fiber fluff um, I like the goose down they're fuller super cheap at Ikea like seven dollars and also I'm picking up two if they have them of the red pillow form or pillow covers because I still can't find the ones I bought last year. Rude. So we'll see what they have, but. And you can hear what I order for a keto drink. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Welcome to get started for you today. May I have a venti blonde Americana? Hey, venti blonde Americana, is that gonna be hot or ice today? Um, it's gonna be hot with sugar-free vanilla and heavy cream. And heavy cream, all righty, will this be all for you today? That is it. All righty, that's gonna be $3.95 at this window. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, now I've gotta take you off of my window so I can pay. That's what I order. All right, see you in a bit. Hi friends, I'm back. Went to Ikea, I wanted to show you some things that I bought and prices. And, oh, now honey, you know he doesn't like that. Luna's visiting us. Sarah's out seeing a couple of her friends, dropping some stuff off. So I have Luna girl here. That's Alex butt and there's Wellington. And my coffee is caramel. Mm. Okay, so if you have an Ikea in your area, you are lucky like I am. But I know you can order online. I don't know the shipping situation because I don't ship. I go to the store. There's two. There are three Ikeas near me. Pittsburgh, which is about three hours away. There is Columbus, which is about a half an hour from my house. And then there's Cincinnati, which is two hours. So I'm pretty blessed with the Ikea situation. But I wanted to show you, if you've not been, sorry, I'm trying to collect and Luna is walking all over everything. I want to show you what I bought, tell you how much they were, and what I use them for. And that'll be the end of our vlog today. Hi, sweetie. Okay, first and foremost, I got, it's called a Drona. So if you have a cube system, um, this, I'll show you what it folds up to, but these are the cheap. They're $3.99 a piece, and it's the cubes, just the cheap cubes that go in your Ikea. This one is white fabric. What I like about them is when you're storing them, they have a zipper on the bottom. This fabric will not scratch your shelf. 
and they're a big size. And because I have the calyx, which is those cubes, these are, these are designed to fit specifically in the calyx, so they're deep and big. So I grabbed um, five of those. My calyx is five by five, and I wanted a whole row of these fabric, and I just got the white cubes to store things like my um, yarn. I can store fabric in these. I can store anything, but I'm gonna be putting a lot of my yarn and stuff. I'm gonna clean up my calyx. So I grabbed five of those. So that total, and they're called a Drona, was $19.95 for five cubes. That's not bad. Then the other thing I got, these are pillow inserts. Now these are called the Jadar something. I don't know, I don't speak Swedish. These are the 20 inch by 20 inch. Now these were $6 a piece. Um, they are feather. The, I have the ones that are made with the um, like poly stuffing. I don't like them as much. They're cheaper, they're like two bucks, but they don't fill up the pillow as well. And I also love at Ikea when you buy stuff, it comes air sucked out. So I have to let these fluff up, but these are duck feathers. And this will fluff up here shortly. So I grabbed two of those um, and I'm gonna replace the, the polyfill ones that are on my couch. There's nothing wrong with the polyfill ones. Um, I just like a fuller, heavier pillow and the duck does that. And Luna likes it too. Here, go get this. She grabbed the, one of the cat toys. Go get it. And to go on those, so you spend your $6, 12, 24, whatever on your pillow inserts. Then they sell pillow covers that fit on them. I grabbed these in this teal color for spring. I already have them in pink. Um, Girly is the name of these. Now these are just plain, it's almost like a canvas material. And these uh, was on clearance for $2.79 but they're only normally $3.99. That is the most inexpensive and they go up to like $35 depending on the fabric and the material. I got these for spring. So what I have been doing is I don't have to store big pillows. I leave the pillows down here. I just have to store the covers for seasons and they're relatively inexpensive. So I like that as well. They have not trying to store seasonal pillows. You know, it's this little bit of fabric and the zippers. And these are 20 by 20. But I will tell you with these 20 by 20 inserts, I have used an 18 by 18 pillow cover and it worked just fine. Right, right. Okay, Luna, what you doing over there, girl? Uh, batteries is also another great thing to buy at Ikea. They're a good quality. Let me tell you how much, I don't even know how much they are. The, oh, da, 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 da. well, let's see not telling me the drona the liner the tablet holder oh these are 2.99 2.99 each or yeah these are two dollars and 99 cents so three dollars and you get 10 triple double a and 10 triple a batteries and they work great Perfect. They also have rechargeable. How Luna, she's trying to kill my pillow. They have rechargeable, but I don't I don't know if the rechargeable will work in my recharger. And I also don't, they didn't have AAA, which is really what I needed. I just grabbed AA to have. Excuse me. Ma'am, get off the pillow. Please stop. She is being crazy behind me here. All right. Then I grabbed this reusable bag. Um, I don't need another reusable bag, but it's plaid and I bought it and it was 69 cents. Um, if you ever travel abroad, you need to bring your own bags. That is something I definitely can tell you from experience, but also at Ikea, you need to bring your own bags or buy a bag there. I don't know why there's tissue paper all wrangled up in here, but there is. Okay, so this is the bag unfolded. Right, it just has, it's just like an Ikea bag, but it folds up into itself in its own little carrying pocket. Isn't that cute? That's outside, inside I mean. But isn't that cute? And then it folds back up into its own tiny, tiny little carrying bag. And these are great to have. So I will fold that up later with 69 cents. 
Uh, the other bag I picked up is one of these. Now this is the normal material of an Ikea bag. These are regularly $4.99, but it was on sale for $2.50. Um, I use these to store seasonal, like my tree skirt and blankets and stuff things and fabric items that I don't want dusted or cats. So these are the zip bags. So, and this has a Christmas print. Um, the ones that are blue Ikea are $5, but this was on clearance for $2.50 and it has polar bears all over it. So it's super cute, but I will put like placemats and table runners and my blankets and all the things. My fire is going behind me. And these and store it down in my basement and it won't get dusty and gross. And for $2.50, these are a great bag for that. So I grabbed that. And how much was this? I don't know. I'm looking at my receipt. I didn't always look at pricing because there were certain things I just needed. I think this was $3.99. It's a measuring cup. My, my Pyrex one, all those sides were, wore off. And then I did an um, online order pickup over the summer or early fall. And um, I grabbed a four cup one. It's huge. I didn't. So I just wanted to, you can't see the lettering on the sides or the numbers, but it's a two cup measure. It's real lightweight. It's like a beaker, uh, but I needed a two cup liquid measure. So I grabbed that for $3.99. Oh, I also bought for, I think this was $3.99 as well. It's loose leaf tea. They had this one, which is um, black tea. It's organic and it is um, chai, like a spiced chai. They had a peppermint and cocoa one, and then they had a, a vanilla, I think. But I got the chai. This is a big bag of loose leaf tea, and it was $3.99. That's how much it was. So I grabbed that because I love tea. And this is good September 21st. And I already have, like, the tea strainers and all that. Then I grabbed these big candles. These are just white pillars. Now this is from the Christmas collection, although I would leave that out for Valentine's Day. However, I'm just gonna put them up backwards. They were $1.99, marked down from I think $4, but these are big old um, seven and a half inch pillar candles and you do not buy these for $1.99, I don't care where you're shopping. So I grabbed two for my mantle when I'm done, You know, probably for spring, my next decor or Easter time, I will put these out. However, if I wanted to set them up there, like I said, I would just leave the red. Now this is a Nordic symbols or Nordic design. It is, these are from the Christmas collection, but I don't really care. They're white candles. Um, for, I don't know how much this was. $2.99, I feel like. Uh, probably probably $2.99, but they are, I'll show you. I'm gonna, oh, oh. It's called a Plut, P-L-U-T, and you get three of them, three of them, three of them, with directions. If you've never seen Ikea directions, they're great. These are adhesive hooks. So they're not the ones that, I mean, you, you really need it to stay where you're putting it. And you put them on your wall and you let them sit for 24 hours and they stick. And I thought these are gonna be great in my craft room to hang things. Um, I would say like, I'm probably gonna hang these on my calyx or on a, not a wall that I want to ruin, but more hang them on something. And you know, that's on the wall. So I just grabbed a pack to try um, because I don't feel like says when removing the tape, it can damage delicate surfaces like wallpaper and painted walls. So I'm not gonna put this on a painted wall. It may end up in my garage too, to hang up like um, tools and stuff where I don't care if the walls are damaged. But I grabbed a three pack of those to check out because I have never seen those there before. Now this is a tablet stand. This was $2.99. You can put your iPad on it. It can sit this way and you can sit it up or it can sit this way. Now I'm putting my laptop on here. 
Um, it's not, I, I'm putting my laptop on it because I use a separate keyboard and I wanted this to rise my work keyboard up so I can have the monitor a little higher. So it's just gonna sit on it, no worries there. But if you're gonna use it and type on it, there's an, an actual laptop one that's a little more expensive, but it's bigger and more sturdy. I wanted the low profile. I wanted my laptop just to sit on it and look up so I can see it. So $2.99 for that. Um, they have the best storage bags ever. These are like $2.50 a box. I bought the, two, these are the big ones. So this is six liter and four and a half liter. So a six quart and a five quart and you get 15 of each. I store all kinds of stuff in here. They also have sandwich size and then they have a size in between. I have two boxes of the sandwich size so I didn't need any of those, but I really use these a lot for craft storage. I put a lot of my Christmas away. They're super heavy duty, almost like a freezer bag, but even more, more thick. And I believe they're considered reusable. I think is what they tout. Like they definitely can be washed and reused. So I grabbed a box of those. I like them. I think that's it. Yeah, that was everything. Look at me. And I spent a total of $71.32 with tax, which I don't think is bad. I got some home storage. I got office supplies, decorations, and chai tea. Let's not forget the chai tea. Ooh, I'm going to put this in a one of my Dollar Tree jars that I got. I think that'll be perfect. Um, this is loose tea. So if you are thinking about getting it, you, they do sell the mesh balls or if you already have, a, I already have one. Um, but yeah, you just put your loose tea in here. So that's everything I feel like this week. This is how the pillow fluffed up already. And what I like is when you do that, it stays. Oh, it's an Easter bunny. But I need to put my I already have pillow covers down for right now on the couch. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put all this stuff away and work on my office, I think. All right, everybody, I hope you had a fantastic day and week, month, week. It's Monday. Yeah. All right, guys, I will talk with you later. Bye.